An animal rights group has been roundly mocked after suggesting the Dorset village of Wool change its name as it currently promotes cruelty to sheep. Instead Peta want the 1,000-year-old village to be called Vegan Wool to the derision of residents. Elisa Allen, a director at Peta, has written to Wool Parish Council with the ridiculous request. She said the change in name would promote kindness to sheep. The activist said they would give a cruelty free woolen blanket to all 2,000 households in the village if they agree to the suggestion. PETA claimed to have uncovered cruelty shown to sheep in the British wool industry that includes animals being punched in the face, trampled on, and beaten with electric clippers. Ms. Allen said that the people of Vegan Wool would show an act of kindness to sheep if they changed the name of the village. Share this article share because Peta has made the suggestion in writing members of Wool Parish Council are obliged to list it on the agenda at their next meeting, but the matter is likely to be laughed out of the room. Local councillor Cherry Brooks said it is a ridiculous request and it's caused quite a stir in the village. A few people are quite offended, but most people seem to find it amusing. The proposal will now need to be discussed at the next council meeting, which will be interesting. Mrs. Brooks also accused PETA of getting its facts wrong on Wool as the village name is derived from the ancient word well, a water spring, and has nothing to do with the wool industry. Other villagers took to social media to defend the name of Wool and slam Peta's suggestion. Jane Merchant said the name Wool should remain as it is, the idea of renaming the village is utterly ridiculous. It's the most idiotic idea I have come across in a long time. Leanne Welsh wrote, so Cheddar Gorge could be vegan Cheddar Gorge? Burger in Scotland could be veggie burger, Joe Holloway added, it's not April 1st yet surely and Anne Vincent said, the name wool has nothing to do with sheep. It comes from the Saxon word for spring, well dot in her letter Ms. Allen said, I'm writing on behalf of PETA with a suggestion that would put wool in the spotlight and promote kindness to sheep, renaming the village vegan wool. Why make this animal-friendly update? Unlike wool that is stolen from sheep, vegan wool is good for animals and the environment. Sheep's wool, on the other hand, has been shown to be a product of extreme cruelty. A recently released PETA Asia eyewitness investigation of the British wool industry revealed that shearers punched sheep in the face, stamped and stood on their heads and necks, and beat and jabbed them in the face with electric clippers. Fast, rough shearing left sheep with large, bloody wounds that shearers crudely stitched up using a needle and thread, and no pain relief. Several sheep even died during shearing from possible shock, or what one farmer called a heart attack. With a simple name change, your village can take a stand against this cruelty and remind everyone that it's easy to stay warm and be warm-hearted to sheep by choosing vegan wool and other animal-free materials. Wool has a population of 5,310 and has its origins in the 11th century. Oh, and its outskirts is Woolbridge Manor House, which was the location of Tess's honeymoon in Thomas Hardy's beloved novel Tess of the D'Urbervilles. Earlier this week, it emerged a pub in York, changed its name from Shoulder of Mutton to Hemworth Inn to attract more vegans to eat there.